Yeah, you could. Yeah. That, so in terms of if you got a strong product, you got a strong, successful team, or at least you're delegating, you're, 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 you know, you're, you're optimizing, you know, everyone's role, then what do you feel? And then we'll, this will be my last question. And then we'll kind of open it up to the question. Um, venture capital funding. How does the, how do you feel about seeking venture capital funding? Assuming you have a viable product, you have at least one other person doing something, right? You're not doing everything, right? Is that a reality for people who are in the startup phase or are, do you now have to transition into a different role as yourself, taking it back from just your everyday stuff in, in terms of seeking out know, venture capital funding? Well, I'll say this with VC. First of all, let me again. I don't want to say anything too controversial, right? Because <laughs> I don't want to be coming and saying the room of controversy. Man. Come on, all right, right. Teddy. Teddy said that. Well, <laughs> just understand that it is. It is known. This is not conspiracy theory. That you know, when it comes to, to VC funding, that the purpose of the when a VC gives an investment, each investment has the the way it's written in terms of the agreement. Is to recoup the fund, so I can lose on if I give up, you know, twenty. If I make twenty investments, I can lose on nineteen. That one will recoup, will make up for all the losses of the other nineteen, and we still, we still make out like bandits. Mm. That's the VC model. So, you it would be wise for you to make sure that not you using your your own uh, understanding, but make sure that you have the folks in place to really understand the deal. Because the VC model, they know most of their investments are gonna fail. So if this business model works for them, the VC model, what does that say about every individual agreement? In terms of how it benefits the entrepreneur, This is no, <laughs> right? They only need a couple to win, and they know they're gonna lose most of the time. So each deal, you know. So I would say, you know, there's becoming more and more ways to get finance. I'm not saying that you should not take if, if you, if you uh, if someone wants to give you finance or uh, invest in a, a venture capital a capitalist. I think that is great. I think that's wonderful. But I'm just saying, make sure you understand the deal. Me personally, as a lawyer, I don't like I don't like playing a game that I ain't skilled in. Like I'm not gonna play your game. I'm gonna play my game so I can dominate you in my game. If I play a game that I'm a novice in, I'm more, more likely gonna lose. So why would I play that game? I'm just saying, you know, there's other ways you can get financing. You may want to look into it, not to say that you shouldn't take any money from VCs, but just understand what their business model is. That's true. That's true. Understanding what the game actually is. What is a venture capitalist in, at the end of the day? That's that's so, man, that I can't uh, hammer that home enough. That's, that's, uh, that's powerful right there. And, you know, you know, it's a reality for some people that they jump into something, get excited about it, and then they end up screwing themselves. But because they don't understand the game, they try to understand it themselves rather than hiring you, getting somebody who can understand it. Right. Right. We got to get out. You know, my thing is, I don't, it's not about, if I'm going to engage in anything, especially like an agreement, a contract, I'm going to make sure that Teddy, I understand the agreement. I'm going to understand the terms of the agreement. If I don't understand it, I'm not going to act like I understand it. I'm going to say, I don't understand it. And I'm not going to trust you that you understand that I'm responsible for what I put myself into, right? So again, just understand from the VC model, it's set up that most of their investments are going to fail. But they, the way they structure each deal is that if any one of them wins, they make out like bandits. So what must that mean? For the other person, the other entity on the other side of that transaction. What, 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 and again, I'm not saying that you can't make money, but just understand that the deal, it has to be one sided because most of the investment 
fail. So just understand what you're getting into. Every every deal is different. I'm not going to sit here and say you should not take money from a VC. They're giving more uh, African Americans money, which is great. But if I can keep it real, tech, I hate to say this, you can talk to some people who founders who didn't got that money. And I have to be very, very careful the way I say this. That like a good idea over there. Guess what? We will give him the money. We get to put people on the board. We'll give him if he can if he can perform a miracle, throw a hail mary within a certain amount of time. Give him two years. Don't don't get it done in two years. We kick him out. We'll put in a CEO from Ivy League school, someone that we trust, someone who we feel that can do the job, someone that we feel comfortable with that can do it. You took their money, didn't you, right? The fine print, you didn't know. Now they got more people on the board than people than, than you, people in the original team. Don't think these, when they, when they part with these millions, that the, the game is almost kind of fixed at that point. And I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to have these VCs coming at me, <laughs> little old me. <laughs> But if you were to talk to some of these founders, you see, listen, people like to talk about the wins. You don't hear about no losses. I read a book that was written out here in Silicon Valley in the 80s, and they talk about how all these companies, when people, when they hit their liquid, liquidation event and they make all this money, but just think about, we all went to school, just think about it logically, physics. If one person, one company wins, big if this one company cashes out for 30 billion what must that say about the other tens of thousands of companies and entrepreneurs what happened to them true indeed things gonna balance out right so if this joker could cash up for 25 billion a lot of people left here without their shirt mm. wow we got to use common sense too now who gonna give you tens of millions for an investment and not structure the contract where guess what? It's gonna be more and more favorable to them. They got the money. They're the ones taking all the risks. They're accepting all the risks. At least early on, they are. You tell you talk to some of these, and again, I'm not just I'm not trying to discourage. I'm just saying make sure that you. You get the people around you that really understand what you're going to be contractually bound to and what position you're going to put your baby, the company, into. The truth of the matter, let me ask some balance. You can't really scale a company without some capital, without sufficient capital. Every company, every one of them still take loans. All the big tech companies, they have loans, you know, even just to help with the cash flow. So I'm not saying that you can't take, you can't receive investment and things like that for capital. You need capital. But what I'm saying is make sure you understand the terms of your deal. And if you don't understand it, it's cool to say you don't understand it. Hire some people who do. And if you just can't understand it, then maybe you should wait a little bit before you do that. Wow. That's, i got a whole page of notes here. I mean, from ownership to, to something you hit on early on, which was the history from the 1800s, from the origination of the patent office to you know your own family, talking about how deals were done in the 80s. The history to me is also so important. Is knowing now we make plans. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't say I know how it feels, but what I can say is I know how to get up. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get up and you out, you making it happen, you hustling, you cry your tears, baby, you yell, you scream, you cuss, you do whatever you got to do. But all I want you to do for me. All I want you to do for me is keep getting up. If you were not equipped to handle what is happening in your life, it wouldn't be happening. I know it's hard to take that right now. I know sometimes you just want to break. Like you say, sometimes I just want somebody to come and take this burden off. But, you know, it, I ain't going to say it's easy. I, I can't lie to you. That's one thing about Kim. I cannot lie to you. I know this shit hurts. I know it's not cool. It ain't fair. I don't know what to tell you. The bull face lie. I, I'll call yeah. it. Don't yeah. know. Exactly. Exactly. So all I can say to you is I hear you. I feel you. I, I just say time, you know, just keep moving as what I see you doing. You making it happen. 
and 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 call out to your husband. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like I call my daddy up. Like I, I you know, I don't have a phone anymore, but I get to how hey, old man, I need you to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? And stuff start happening. You know what I'm saying? And so he's there. He may not be physically here. He's there. I know I would give anything to just have my daddy sit next to me some days. And that's just not an option. But I think I, I hear the strength in your voice. Like you ain't going down. So what we got to do to make sure you win, Regina? That's the only question I want to have. Like I get it. I, I'm empathetic and I understand the disappointments. But what we got to do to make sure you win? Like that, that's what we got. That's what we need to focus that's, on that, now. I'm going to just keep it a thousand I'm still figuring that out. I'm not going to sit okay. up here and say, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I got it all together. No, I, everybody being transparent and raw, that's all, that's all I know how to be. And being yeah. raw in my mind got my ass whipped a thousand times when I was growing up, okay? <laughs> Me and you both. <laughs> I'm surprised I even got a high school diploma. How about that? Okay? Well, you got one. <laughs> so hey, you hey Gina, <laughs> so so uh Dominique said you are strong. You have us, Regina. That's right. You part of the Ghost Seal team, notary seal team. Cam open her doors for you. So you're you're not out here by yourself. No, right? and that's what, thank you. And that's what gravitated me towards towards you, um, tech, Dominique, Cam, you know, that y'all strength, I just feel that. You know, and y'all authentic. And I don't like phoniness. That's why I've always been kind of dolo, didn't have a whole lot of friends. And, um, you know, because I don't I don't like phoniness. I, and I'm going to call you out on it. You know, when I was little, you used to get me, you know, fucked up. Oh, why you do that, pal? But then when I learned martial arts, that shit stopped. But anyway. <laughs> I appreciate you, Gina. We'll, we'll 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 go uh we'll go live together on uh later on today, Gina. All right. Thank you, love. Uh we got love. we got Monique in Compton. Monique, unmute yourself, Monique. dear. Let, 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 let's rock and roll. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monique from Compton. Excuse me. Woo, I'm woo. Hey, I'm looking crazy out here. I'm just doing my house. It looks chores, great. You know. Girl, right. We, we, <laughs> tell tell the hubby I said what up. I will. Hey, tell, I will. Monique, he tell the hubby I said what up. I will. He, I made him go to work today. You can't be here. Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to clean so, my house up. <laughs> right. Just get out. Um, so I caught not the beginning. So I don't even know what an apostille is. You know what I thought apostille was? Somebody that married people, honestly. Oh, you know that it there. Yeah, no, so um, that is a version. Like when you look it up, you'll get the apostille. You even get the Bible references. Like you know, it's 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 a crazy thing. So apostille is simply um, a certification that is issued by a state government uh, for documents that originate in the United States that are going to be used outside of the United States. So um, what 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 comes down what it comes down to is. If someone wants to do something, they want to marry something, they want to, um, you know, just even get dual citizenship outside of the United States, you have to authenticate your documents from here in order to present them to that government in order for them to, you know, do their process. So that's essentially what an apostille is. I saw Dominique say you're an apostle facilitator. Absolutely right. We don't issue the apostles personally. We just facilitate the process. You're absolutely right, Dominique. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. I like the sound of that because I want to be in those rooms. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, this, <laughs> this is one way. I'm not saying it's the only way, but this is the way I found my way. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I advocate for this business. I fell in love with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I don't have to work that much. Like, I literally don't have to work that much. So that was perfect for me. Because like I say, when the sun come out, I, I get real finicky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. I, well, I'm I'm clicking the program. All right, awesome. All right. Thank you, Monique, Come for tapping in. in. All right, thank. Anybody else want to tap in? Anybody else want to tap in and talk to Killer Cam? All right, we Come got on, Ray Nana. Hey, we got Ray Charles. Unmute yourself. Tap in. Kelly is in the building for sure. For sure. Let me see if we can unmute. Yeah, my bad. Um, of course, we're going to show some love up in here. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, getting ready to go to work. Cam, this is awesome. 
Thank you. Like, thank you. This was hold on, my camera dirty in the front. Girl, you fine. Look, I'm right, trying to see good. your, your ponytail, girl. It is together. Come on, let me see thank your ponytail. You. Yeah, it this is the war thing. room, man. We we raw and uncut over here. Baby, this, what you put on it? Because I want mine to curl like that. Look, I'm all in your ponytail. Like, I need mine to curl like that. Curl. <laughs> you know, jail, the one in the green, um, the green curl. Oh, one. Lord. Everybody say that. That eco gel yeah. flakes my hair up. It be fail. Really? Absolute fail. <laughs> Come no. on, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. You good, but this was amazing. Like your energy, your spirit, the rawness. This this was everything. I'm so mad. Cam, I'm gonna purchase your course. Even though I know about apostles, I wanna I wanna learn from you again. I wanna learn more. I wanna see the way you see it. Because I had already talked to you in the DMs about I had already purchased the course, but I wanna learn more from okay. you. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. This is amazing. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's. I mean, you know, check in. There's some different options. If you know how to do it, then you know we have some options. Like if you want to do consultations, like we have some.